Hello and welcome. The lesson we are going to learn today is little interesting. My friend sent me this image and asked how to implement the same using the CSS. Actually, it's pretty easy to implement in CSS. Let's learn the CSS technique today. By the way, this is Sam. <laughs> Let's quickly create a new HTML file and store it inside the new directory. This is the sixth video in this series. At this point, I just want to remind you, you can always find the source codes at the video description below. Many of you are keep on asking me for the source code. So guys, please check the video description before asking. Let's in insert the HTML snippet and add the title reports preloader in CSS. Let's take a look at the GIF image. As you can see, there are four vertical bars moving up and down. We are going to create four vertical bars in our HTML code and animate them. Let's do it. Let me create a new div with the class preloader and four span elements inside it. Now it's time to add styles and animate them. Preloader. I'm setting the position as relative and since I want to have absolute children inside that and display inline block height as 90 pixel width as 75 pixel let's style the span element preloader span so obviously position absolute width 15 pixel and I just want to set the height as 40 pixel and background color black let me find my web browser and see how it looks like you may be surprised to see only one element as of now but the problem is all the span elements are positioned absolutely so all the four elements take the same place to sit let's tell them individually to move a bit from others actually first element is positioned properly so let's tell the second element to move a bit preloader span and child of two let me set margin left 20 pixel let's do the same for third and fourth element Forty pixel and sixty pixel. Let's take let's take a look at it. Yes, now we can able to see all the four elements. What we have right now is four vertical bars with same height and color. Let's take a look at the GIF image again. As you can see, the first element is smaller, and second one is a little taller, and third one is the tallest, and last one is the smallest. Let's adjust the height in our CSS accordingly. Don't care about this uh, image now because I have zoomed it. Actually, this is how it looks like. Okay, let's zoom it. Okay. First element. So let me start with the height 30 pixel. And background color EFF465B. I'm taking the same color and height 45 pixel, background color uh, 01C36C. I have noted down, so I'm using the same color height 70 pixel so this is the tallest one background color 3a 
E9. And last one, smallest one, 25 pixel and background color. I'm sorry, background color FDC 33B. Let's see how it looks like. Not this. Sorry, my browser is not responding. Uh oh, all the vertical bars are facing down. Let's fix this by simply adding bottom zero here. Yeah. And this height and background no more required. So let me re remove this. Let's add the animation quickly. We are going to add a keyframe animation to these vertical bars. Let's add animation. Animation to the first element. Animation animation name as bar one animation duration two seconds and animation timing function is in an iteration count infinite let's copy this line and paste it here paste it here paste it here and rename this to bar two this is bar three and this is Part four. Let's add the keyframe animation. I don't know why my machine is not responding to me. Keyframes bar one. As you know, all the animation starts at zero percentage and ends at hundred percentage. Zero percentage, hundred percentage. This zero percentage can be replaced by from the word from and this hundred percentage can be replaced by two. Let's keep it as zero and hundred percentage. Let's take a look at this GIF image again. I'm going to break down this animation into four stages. First stage is the initial stage, the initial height. And the second stage is little increase in the height. This is the second stage, see, second stage. And third stage is the decrease in the height than the original height. That is the, that's the start, third stage. And fourth stage is bringing back to the initial height. Let me summarize it again. Initial height, a little increment in the height, little decrement in the height, back to initial height. Okay, let's add the four stages here. Zero percentage, I'm, I'm going to add uh, I'm going to set the height in zero percentage. That's the initial stage. So, and in 33 percentage, I'm going to have the second stage height as 50 pixel and 55 percentage. I'm sorry, 50 percentage. I'm going to decrease the height and the last stage 55 percentage and 200 percentage no change in the height just come back to your original height let me copy this paste it here paste it here and here okay let me rename this bot 2 and adjust the height accordingly this is second one so 45 65 38 this is a simple calculation you can do it on your own 45 actually this is bar 2 right yeah I'm doing it wrongly here and let me take this and paste it here this should be 3 and I should be 70 pixel 90 pixel and 60 pixel and back to the same height 70 pixel and this is bar 4 you are the smallest so 25 pixel and 45 pixel and 15 pixel and come back to the same 
let's test in the browser not this let's test in the browser something is wrong let's test it okay what is what is wrong with the first element oh my god this should be colon i think you maybe noticed it earlier let's test it all right the animation is good but our next job is to add the delay between these animations so i don't want any delay for the first element so for the second element i just want to set the animation delay as 0.2 second which means 200 milliseconds for this 400 millisecond for this 0.6 600 milliseconds let's keep it like this this is the original look that's it congratulations you are reporting css pre-orders ready right now all right if you want to learn more lessons tips and techniques let me know in the comment section below if you want to download the source code check the description section below also if you like this video give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button and remember to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lessons right here on youtube happy learning and i'll see you in another lesson soon